Hey all. So on the topic of breath work, uh, something I think is really important is to distinguish, yeah, the distinguishment between breath work and pranayama. And so there's a lot of breath work, um, uh, what do we call it? Exposure happening in, in today's society. Um, I feel, I feel like there's an insurgence of breath work, breath work facilitators, breath work modalities. Um, Wim Hof is a great example. And all of these things are doing a really awesome service to pranayama. But one of the things that I want to, mm, that I feel is important to distinguish here is that breath work and pranayama are two separate things. And this, the difference there is really subtle, um, but does make a significant difference in the results of the practitioner of this particular modality. And so that distinguishment uh, is a result of many, many hours of consistent breathwork practices, which leads a person to understand uh, that they're actually training their mind in a certain way to participate in the breathing pro process and uh, also train their body to participate in that breathing process. And so in yoga, we have a few concepts um, that refer to specific inner mechanisms uh, that facilitate or create a container, an energetic container, so that the breath uh, or the energy of the breath can actually be held in the body and that this energy doesn't escape our container, our vessel. And so the word in Sanskrit for breath retention is kumbhaka, kumbhaka. And we have a breath retention at the top, anter kumbhaka, and we have a breath retention at the bottom, bahya kumbhaka. And so these two uh, types of retention, uh, whether we're holding the breath in the body or we're exhaling and we're holding the breath outside of the body, produce a certain result energetically in our system. And uh, when we're training our breath work practices and we're starting to move in the direction of pranayama, we're becoming familiar with the energetic quality of the breath. And, and that means that, yeah, when you're holding the breath in and that feeling of expansion is in the body, when you exhale, this is just an example to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, when you exhale, can you continue to keep that expansive quality inside of you, right? So when you breathe in and your body is expanded, when you exhale, does your body just suddenly collapse and then all the energy just escapes and leaks out? Or can you keep your body uh, expanding? And so by doing that and, and doing that repetitively, consistently over a long time, we actually start to link the energy of the inhale to the energy of the exhale, and it becomes a single thread. And that is our the, the mind, which is uh, a function of prana. Instead of it going out and grabbing things, it is now contained in the vessel of the body, which then leads to meditation. And so I believe that asana, pranayama, pratyahara, dharana, these Sanskrit words in the Yoga Sutras that are the branches of yoga, it is one seamless process. They cannot be divorced from each other. And so there's no meditation that is separate from these other physiological phenomena, i.e. to reach a state of meditation, to allow your brain waves to slow, to allow your nervous system to really balance itself, your sitting position must be stable and easy, right? Stira and sukham, that is your asana. You, you're not going to make a significant physiological shift, not in a way uh, that is intended for uh, the result by laying down. There's a different effect on the spine when the spine is vertical. And when the spine is vertical, your, um, yeah, your practice and your breath becomes completely different. And so that is one, one aspect of a pranayama practice, um, keeping the energy in its loop, in its container, and 
this is how we end up coming to uh, greater and greater states of energetic awareness about who and what we are and what our energy is doing and what our life force is doing and uh, results in a, in a more fulfilling life, a, a life that you actually have control over your life force uh, and the energy that's moving through you versus your energy constantly escaping, going out, being distracted, doing this and that. And so yeah, that's my five minute talk on pranayama and the difference between pranayama and breath work. I thank you so much for listening and uh, blessings to you in your pranayama practice. Ciao.